morning students this is a sixth module in safety in textile industry concerning the legal aspects we had gone through the fatal disease called bisonosis also known as the brown lung it was explained in the earlier classes and the symptoms followed now as per the legal aspects the permissible exposure limit is around 200 mili micrograms of cotton dust now if it is uh, regarding the textile waste houses then it goes up to 500 mi micrograms and when we are dealing with the weaving operations it can go up to 750 micrograms and at, in the same case uh, while it is for waste this recycling it can go up to 1000 milligrams that is the inhalation of cotton dust for a 8 hour day now as per the uh, indian uh, data available the impact on children it's around 26.4 percent in the carpet weaving units of jaipur where the initial study has been conducted another health hazard is exposure to the chemicals uh, especially the formaldehyde which can cause uh, the stomach cancer and uh, another uh, serious one will be the thyroid cancer and the nasal cancers now these are due to the inhalation of chemicals while the operation is being carried out for the dyeing of uh, fabric another one which you have which we have already discussed in the earlier classes is the exposure to noise you are well aware that the permissible continuous limits is 55 db or i would say it is rather that 50 to 55 db and if it is uh, slightly more it can be up to 65 db only in the intermittent levels if it is going above 70 db then you will have uh, problems like uh, loss of hearing in the long run now we will go into the actual part of the uh, syllabus that is the acts and rules and regulations which is been laid out by the Ministry of Textiles, Government of India. Uh, I have given the link below for you to follow and the other slides are being followed. As per the Textile Committee Rules of 1965 and under Section 22 uh, Act, Act 1963, the Central Government has made uh, rules for the textile come textile industry and the powers exercised by it will be as per the uh, section 22 now this deals with the medical benefits for the committee employees and for the for exercising the powers confirmed by the section 23 2 of c as per the act 1963 now the medical benefits will be as per the regulations of 1968 uh, these regulations shall apply to all the employees of the textile committee textile company committee employees medical benefits regulations 1968 thank you students for watching this video next video we will proceed to the environmental impacts legal aspects